Sketchy. Hi, everybody. This is Josh. Oh, the fun I'm having today. So here we go. I've mentioned elsewhere, I believe in, in, in one of these sketchy videos, that I am particularly fascinated, perhaps obsessed, with cartoon ducks. I just love the iconography and the color uh, of, of cartoon ducks. Ducks of all shapes and sizes, from your Disney ducks and your duck tails to your Daffy ducks and, and your obscure ducks and your realistic ducks and your crazy TV ducks. I just like cartoon ducks. That's my jam. That's kind of my, uh, my go-to. So ever since I was a kid. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, to indulge this fascination, in the month of December, I decided that I am going to present my cartoon duck advent calendar. So for 25 days from December 1th, December 1th, I just said December 1th, you guys. Forget about everything else that's going on in this video. It's a historic moment of stupidity. Uh, from December 1st to the 25th, till Christmas Day, I will uh, post a new uh, duck every day. Uh, I don't know if they will all get documented here in videos. I don't see why not, because I'm recording my drawing regularly now. But uh, we'll see. But here, this is the first one. I had to go with a, a, an all-time great Disney duck, Ludwig van Dreyck. Um, just, all right, so there's a lot going on here. Not only is it a cartoon duck in the Disney stable, my fav one of my favorite clans of cartoon ducks, but uh, this guy in particular, all right, he's a late 60s, I believe. I didn't, I didn't look this up. I didn't uh, Disneypedia this. But as far as I understand it, this is a character from the 60s, and he's got a certain shaggy, pencil -y look to him. He's from this era when they are, you know, to save money, uh, they are f Xeroxing the animator's drawings onto cells instead of having an artist trace and ink a cell. So you end up with these very, like, much more pencil -y, much more drafty, much more sketchy uh, characters through the 60s and early 70s in Disney animation. And boy, am I obsessed with that era of animation. I'm talking 101 Dalmatians, Sword in the Stone, The Rescuers, that era of, um, you know, once in a while they'll do something to try and call back to this, but obviously now everything's digitally inked and colored. Um, there was just something about getting more of the essence of the animator's actual work coming across in that finished uh, picture on the screen. And there's something about the bristly hair and the, the extra line, just even the hair on top of Ludwig von Drake's head. You could just see the animator, you could feel the animator's work in creating that drawing, as opposed to it being kind of a perfect inked, you know, copy of a copy. Um, I don't know. This, is, this just does it for me, gang. I don't know what to say. This is just my jam right here. Um, so this is going to be a really fun month. I can't wait to do more. Uh, but what a way to start. What a way to kick it off. Uh, I already have my roster locked in, so if you have suggestions of cartoon ducks, you know, I'd love to celebrate them with you, but I do already know all the ducks I'm drawing. There will be I, an honorable mention, I suppose, the last week of the month uh, for some of the ones that didn't make it in or, or whatever. So if you, know, if you have something cool you want to bring to my attention, uh, please, always. But um, I just had to start strong. I've spaced out the famous ducks and made sure to pad it out with enough interesting you know, uh, lesser known ducks. So what, f what fun this is going to be. What a treat to get to do this. And, you know, finding the most boring color of brown for the, uh, for the coat, all the reference material I could find, uh, you know, I wanted to use stills from actual cartoons, which is great, but boy, they don't look great. The colors are all weird and the balance is off and, and they're, you know, too saturated or they're not saturated enough. So I kind of had to just do do my own work here and pick some colors that I thought worked, but it's pretty straightforward and simple. We are coming to the end. Oh, I do want to highlight one little thing here. So I'm coloring the book, the psychology book, and yes, you may have noticed I misspelled psychology the first time, and then when I inked it, I got it right. But uh, I'm running out of time, so let me just very quickly say, in the end, uh, you're going to see a mistake here where I accidentally make all the lines yellow. I had to cut and paste those lines to their own layer so that I could then f uh, turn on the transparency and then fill them with yellow to get that to be the right color. That's all I have time for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon with another duck.